Hello everybody, I'm Billy Ruiz and you're here in my kitchen today and we're barbecuing tri-tip and top sirloin, two of Santa Maria's most famous cuts of beef. On the right we've got the tri-tip, which uh, most everybody's real familiar with. And uh, we've trimmed this up, taking the blue skin off the top and what's on the bottom. And uh, here we have two pieces of top sirloin. We started off with a 12-pound uh, chunk of top and uh, cut it in half, trimmed a little bit off of the, any excess we needed to trim off, and we've got two six-pound pieces. So these two pieces will probably take about an hour each to cook, and this smaller tri-tip will probably take about 45 minutes, and those will both come off about medium rare that way. So I'm going to season these. And we're going to put this directly on the fire. And of course we're barbecuing with traditional red oak wood, which is indigenous to our area. And these tops go on right alongside of this tri-tip. On that tri-tip you want to surely start that with the fat side up, and that way you'll sear the underneath side, sear the juices in, and the fat will hold it, then roll it over and sear the fat side, and then your meat will stay a heck of a lot more juicier. Standard bill of fare for a perfect Santa Maria style barbecue is obviously your good meat. Get a piece of good choice beef. We like to have good pinquito beans, have good fresh homemade salsa, a good green salad, French bread, and then a nice strawberry shortcake for dessert. And you could feed the Queen of England that meal or a popper down here by the railroad tracks and they'd both rear up on their hind legs if they got a chance to eat that. And by golly, you just can't beat it. What we're cooking with today is red oak, which is indigenous to our part of the country. It's a hard wood. It's got a good hard bark layer on it. And uh, without good oak, a good piece of meat, and good company, it's pretty hard to have a real good barbecue. We're getting a real good brown and a sear on this meat. So now we're going to roll this over. Now remember when you roll that tri-tip over, the fat side is going to start dripping. So you may want to crank your screen up a little bit. One, one point on this barbecue meat too, is when you pull these off, if you can let this meat rest about 15 or 20 minutes, just like any other piece of meat before you cut it, you'll, you won't lose half the juice and it lets those juices set like your grandma used to let that turkey rest for 30 minutes before she cut it. Do the same thing with this meat. Let it rest about 15, 20 minutes, then cut it, and you won't have the juice even run off the cutting board. Okay, I'm gonna roll these over here one more time. See, we're getting a nice crust on these. This has been cooking about an hour and a half, and as you can see, she's gonna be medium rare right through. That's as good as it gets, folks. There it is, medium rare top sirloin. Come to Santa Maria, try this barbecue, and I'll tell you what, you won't just take back memories of Santa Maria, you'll take back the flavor of Santa Maria. Ooh!